have knowledge of atomic structure we have knowledge of certain uh, parts of physics that is wavelength radiation etc we have knowledge of now periodic table that means the elements in periodic table certain characteristic of that element then we have knowledge of chemical bonding also uh, not 100% but to certain extent then we have knowledge of uh, carbon or chemistry of carbon compound so we are trying to get uh, knowledge about universe from different aspect yet we have not started out biology but before that uh, we should start out another important topic about this uh, knowledge of universe that is nuclear chemistry or nuclear physics say a certain part they are common in both the topic in certain way it is differ but certain topics are same now you are aware that there is atom inside atom there is nucleus and now we are focusing on this nuclear aspect uh, in order to get deeper knowledge about universe because after discussing this chapter entirely you will able to know many things about this universe more clearly again keep in mind whatever we are discussing here that is just about 4% knowledge of universe what we have today so in that uh, we mean scientist have i don't have that knowledge but out of that we are going to discuss uh, so try to focus try to concentrate uh, number 1 that we are talking about atomic structure at that time we discuss that atom is having very tiny nucleus at center and electrons are revolving around it in different orbits now you are aware that orbit shape is not same sometime orbit shape is spherical don't say circular though i am showing in circular manner because this is plane board and i am not able to explain three dimensional view because we are using minimum animation and therefore uh, you have to consider that is spherical sphere is three dimensional figure whereas circle is two dimensional figure that means i can have two dimensions in order to explain circle uh, that is x axis and y axis both axis sufficient but in order to explain figure like sphere i should go for z axis also so it is called as three dimensional figure graphically now we are focusing about uh, nuclear chemistry now atom uh, we are considering spherical in shape no doubt that various orbitals like d orbitals are there p orbitals are there they are having dumbbell shape or somewhat similar to dumbbell shape that is english eight shape but still we are considering atom as spherical in shape and nucleus is at center of the atom let me clear this point again this is say spherical atom this is atomic diameter whereas suppose this is nucleus or i should show this in red color it appears only black because say black ink is there along with that so this is nucleus then i should show this way here this is nuclear diameter approximately suppose this diameter is 1 okay so i am showing this diameter as 1 then this diameter is 10 raised to 5 that means this diameter is this many time to that of atom approximately i am telling you right now we can consider this way now you are aware that this diameter what 10 raised to 5 i have written this diameter is actually we are considering in range of 1 angstrom that is equal to 10 raised to minus 10 meter in unit chapter try to recollect we discussed this so whatever that this is 10 raised to 5 times smaller than that so this diameter should be 10 raised to minus 5 angstrom getting idea now 
so if this is 1 angstrom this is 10 raised to minus 5 angstrom or simply it is 10 raised to minus 15 meter now this unit is called as fermi but f is small fermi is name of italian scientist initially and then american uh, who discuss various facts about nucleus of atom in honor of that unit is given as nuclear diameter in terms of fermi so that is 10 raised to minus 15 meter or that is equal to 10 raised to minus 5 angstrom but uh, no doubt his name is there that is proper name so it should be there in capital letter but as we are aware that below meter metric level whatever the units are there we are writing it with small letter therefore i have written here in small letter so one for me that is equal to 10 raised to minus 15 meter or 10 raised to minus 5 angstrom let me clarify this concept to greater extent imagine atom is circular in size imagine whatever ground is there a uh, playground is there suppose that playground is of diameter 1 kilometer many playgrounds are having diameter in this range that's why i am uh, taking this example so imagine playground is having diameter as 1 meter uh, sorry 1 kilometer then this is at nucleus suppose then what is atomic size that should have diameter 1 lakh kilometer you are aware that earth is having diameter in range of 12,800 meters, uh, kilometers sorry. So earth is having diameter at 12,800 kilometers. Whereas uh, what we are saying if nucleus is at 1 kilometer range then diameter of atom should be 1 lakh kilometer that means almost 7 times greater than size of earth. And that's why we are saying there is tremendous hollow or say space inside the atom till we reach at nucleus. So all these concepts you have to visualize. By examples I am telling you but uh, we have to visualize these concepts. So first part is clear that what is the relation between atomic size and nuclear size. Nucleus is almost 1 lakh times shorter than atomic diameter and that's why we are saying nucleus is extremely tiny it is considered as almost point object like that the first part is over now just we get introduction about what is nuclear size and atomic size and now we are starting with next part in such a tiny nucleus protons are remaining together you are aware protons are having positive charge. Positive charge should repel another positive charge. But here all protons, let us check out for hydrogen atom, there is only one proton. As you are aware that atomic number of hydrogen, we are writing this way, atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and mass number is also 1. So there is only one proton in nucleus of hydrogen. If I am talking of calcium, it is having 20 protons, mass number is 40, that means 20 neutrons. So inside the nucleus of calcium atom, 40 particles. Now these particles inside nucleus, we are calling them as nucleon. So there are 40 nucleon, out of that 20 protons are there and 20 neutrons are there. They are packed together in such a tiny place that is nucleus. In case of uranium, you are aware uh, various isotopes of uranium are there. I am talking of uranium 92, uh, that is isotope is 238. In this uranium 92 238, 92 protons are remaining together inside nucleus of Uranus, uh, uranium. Whereas remaining, that is 148, is number of, uh, not 148. It is 146. 146 number of protons are uh, neutrons are there. So 143 neutrons, uh, sorry, 146 neutrons and 92 protons are staying together in the nucleus of uranium. 